<clears throat> hey there everybody, Seth here, and I welcome you all to the CF Unlimited Grand Prix. Over the past few months of uploading mods or playthroughs with the Unlimited characters, I am fairly certain I'm not the only one who has had this question pop up into their minds. Which one of them is the strongest of them all? So I have gathered Naoto, Hibiki, Susano, Jubei, Esmai, Nine, and Izanami from my previous videos and entered them in a best of three elimination tournament to answer that very question. And the winner of this bracket will go on to fight the champion, Unlimited Ragna the Blood Edge for the title of Strongest Central Fiction Unlimited Character. And I'm already imagining, people are wondering, why the hell is Ragna the champion? Well, for one thing, he's the OG Unlimited boss, and two, we have nine entrants, so sticking him at the very top for his the championship match was pretty reasonable based on those two factors alone. And now, with our definitely not scripted introduction out of the way, here are the matchups for the first round. That doesn't sound weird compared to the normal recording, because this bit is a separate Audacity recording, and I also hope the DBZ game music in the background doesn't get my ass copyright claimed, because uh, <laughs> I don't need any of that. Let's just bring it up. Okay. The competitors were in fact run through a random generator, but we already have two really heated matchups in the first round. As you can see, there's absolutely no character bias here whatsoever, but I must say that I am personally rooting for Hibiki or Jubei to make it to the very end, but considering Jubei's first match, he's probably going to be out in round one. Something I should also know is that these are CPU versus CPU fights. I will not be participating at all whatsoever outside of commentary, so these matches are truly a test of what these characters can do to take home the gold. And without further ado, we will move into our first set of the tournament, My Natsume vs. Naoto Kurigane! Just, just imagine a fancy transition here or something. Okay, here we go, jumping right into the first game now! Of the first set of the tournament, Ragno the Edgelord against My Natsume. The odds are stacked up against Naoto, I'm afraid, because Mai has that big-ass staff that gives her the range over his stubby, punchy-punchy normals. But knowing Ragno, he can just run in and do whatever the hell he wants, because his buttons are pretty damn good, so we'll see how it turns out for him. I'm very intrigued myself to see how this will go. Ooh! Oh, I lost the bull bash, got hit by the second bull bash. Ooh! Oh, that's nice for attack, Mai. Oh, I Shifts way the, oh, shifts way back into the corner. It was a phantom pain. Doesn't get a follow up though. Oh, damn. Now he's doing. Oh, he keeps, he keeps getting caught by the fucking second bull bash. Oh, the GP class looks super. I can barely keep up with what's going on right now. Holy shit. It is very hard to commentate a freaking match that is actually this high octane. Oh, this is the Inferno Fizzbear. Exceed itself through the C mashing. This is still a pretty close match. Oh, nice back throw in the corner with enhanced DP. What does he do to follow up? Whips the throw. Keeps her in the corner, though. The pressure... Oh, guard points through the flash tide. Oh, my just popped overdrive. Oh, dear. Now is Naoto going to deal with this. He gets full bash. Oh. You're pretty strong. He put up a much better fight than I expected. I have to admit, congratulations there. But the match is not over yet. This is only the first game as well. Anything can happen. Action. Naoto does have a burst. 60 is over the sweep and ends up getting the first hit of the, of the round. Ooh, calls her on the backflip. Oh, she matches out. Yeah, Mai, I think, definitely has the Unga Bunga advantage between these two really hog wild competitors, but Naoto is keeping his fucking He's staying in there. He's doing. Oh, got hit by that bull bash, though. Right, that was what I was say. He was watching the overhead pretty well. Oh, damn, that hit hard. Yeah, oh yeah, let's find Reaper, find Reaper. Point blank find Reaper, so he gets the full 4k. Floral Blizzard Blossom, my blocks him, blasts him back. Oh, she's camping him out! Oh, nice throw! Can he pull it back? Oh, he smashes! Oh, he backdashes into the bull bash, and that is game one to my... Thank you very much. With a pretty close 2-0. Let's see if we can pull it back in the next set. No, actually, I think I'm going to keep these uh, rematch screens. It's a little easier to not stitch that together, 
so I hope no one watching that minds. That set, that's actually bad. I, I, I get a little... I, I, I talk too fast for my own good. You know how it is. Maybe. Maybe you don't. Anyways... My the sidetracking commentary can come for I'm I playing. For now, I need to pay attention to the map. I can barely keep up. Seriously? Don't say I didn't warn you. Alright, now, Toe. This is your only, this is your real chance to redeem yourself from being a rock the corner. And he jumps in the roll back. Oh, Slash Kaiser off! Oh, he's getting ground! Oh, he probably puts himself in the corner, though. Ooh! Oh, now Toe's got that good DP, though. Ooh, tries to cross up with Phantom Pain. Oh, it was all a bait! Point Flight to Final Reaper for nearly 4k! Oh, still been Hurricane Assault. Knocks him out of the air, puts him back into the ground. Oh, dear lord. Oh, Naoto is taking this round by storm. Burst him off. I think she can bring this back. We'll see if that's true or not. Oh, Divine Smashers! Mai is out her burst, Naoto still has his, he is at a major advantage going into round two. Ooh, round start 6A from Mai! Ooh, the reset of the purple console! Naoto getting hit! He's already down half of his health, gets hit by another fullback in the 3C! Back throws her again, Phantom shifts away behind her. Oh, he's mistiming these side switches, though! It's not doing him any favors, because she's just hitting him afterwards! They both have active flow. Naoto is locking her down with stagger pressure, but she just floral blitz blossoms out. Ooh, the flip kick that doesn't have a name! Another back throw from Naoto! Oh, he bursts her off! Oh, the Divine Smasher whip! He sways out of the way of the 3C! Oh, damn! My god, his first act of the time! And another freaking, uh, I, 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 I don't know. I I'm sorry. Any it's so hard to keep up. Let These AI are playing so fast. <laughs> oh damn, a Himiuri from full screen tagged now to bring to the round three. They're both out there first. It probably will not get it back for the rest of the round. Mai is in the corner against Naoto again. Goes for a raid combo. Drops it though. Oh, he's in the corner now. Another side swap. Oh, Maya's is just dominating the neutral. Oh, Raging Storm! Oh, get a hit lover through! Oh, if they hit, that would have won in the round, probably. Would have done so much damage. Side swap, another side swap, another side swap! <laughs> Oh my god, now it's just going hog wild! He really turned it up after day one! And that's a divine match for the kill! Oh jeez. Do me a favor and stop standing We're going into game three! Woo! Don't think I'm peeking the audio though, that's a good thing for sure. Alright, here we go. Game three. This is this is the tiebreaker. Whoever wins this goes into round two to probably fight nine because I don't have high hopes for Jubei winning that match. I'm sorry, folks. Nine is just in a fucking league of her own. That's gonna be painful to watch, but let's focus I'm on sorry. this for now. You know this will hurt a little, but it's not the only way. Through, huh? so we play All right. Now, Toy, I have to admit, I'm rooting for you. I don't care about the biased commentary. We said no character bias, or he's breaking that rule. Who gives a shit? Oh, my, is taking the round. Early momentum. Oh, now he fucks up another side swap and then gets full combo. Can't slash hide. Oh, oh, damn. My pulling out the style. 2C side swap, Sylvan Hurricane, and it connects. Oh, she's got active for him now for the low health. Another full bash! Now until you gotta block the full bashes! Oh, that's quick. Oh, he misses the full combo! Oh, that is a very hopeful burst from Naoto. Yeah, he gets clipped by a projectile. That was a bad, bad move. You're pretty strong, but I I strong. He is out of his burst now. Mai still has hers. This is max point for Mai. If Mai wins, Naoto is out of the tournament. Enhanced Vanishing Bang into the corner. Ooh, a Phantom Pain follow-up misses the connector after that. 
reset the neutral. Mai using that fucking long ass pole to use a reset with a full bash into a fucking blue combo down to reset. Oh, he's so easy to it's away. The chip plays around him, but then he gets fucking whipped with a super. Oh, yep, keeping that neutral locked down with the projectiles. Mai has that advantage over now, so for sure. Oh, another flip kick! Oh, he sh he tried to reset it with fucking Phantom Pain, but he's thrown for his trouble! Oh, the over- Oh, does Mai go for the Astral? Does Mai go for the Astral, folks? Oh, uses the burst! This is very close! Oh, a guard break! Oh, blow up Blizzard, but doesn't do much! Oh, a bull bash takes it! Mai wins! Game- Game 3, 2-0, oh, and advances to the I'll next round! Now, Joe is eliminated from the tournament! forever to be a shadow of the OG. He will remain a deviant knockoff of, of, from obscurity for the rest of his miserable life. What a sad thing to see, folks. And with game one finished, we are already off to an explosive start to the CF Unlimited Grand Prix. Sorry, Naoto fans, but he has been eliminated from the tournament. He put up a valiant fight, but it was just not enough for Mai's unga bunga staff normals and random bull bashes because she basically became Sin Kisk after I made her an unlimited character. And with that, she advances on to round two. Boop! Hopefully I found that I timed that right and that sound effect that I made myself was not awful. But with that out of the way, we can move on to game two. A very, very heated, blood-filled matchup indeed between Jubei and Nine the Phantasm. Husband and wife duking it out. Let us see who comes out on top. All right, Mitsuyoshi Jubei, the strongest creature on the planet versus Nine the Phantasm, the strongest mage. Two of the six heroes, husband and wife going at it. Not in that way, you perverts. I have very, unfortunately, very, very low hopes that Jubei will overcome the broken bullshit that is Unlimited 9. But let us hope. Lend him your power, folks. Give Jubei the strength he needs to get past this garbage. As we roll the match underway, he gets clipped by the mirror as he tries to approach Nine, camping him out like this degenerate that she is, but Jubei gets a fissure in the flash and is going in with his enhanced drive. He's got her corner, but she gets out with Azurite Inferno. Neutral is reset. Oh, Jubei teleports behind her! He has the neutral tools he needs to get in against her fucking spam. He has her in the corner once again. And Dyer's her attempt to jump out. He is maintaining his advantage. Oh, clips on the projectile. Nine, the overdrive is taking away. Oh, right. He needs now. It is not active flow, though. Jubei is still in this. He has active flow with overdrive left. What does he do? He gets a fish ring slash reset somehow and takes the round. Nine. I'm sorry. I'm hyped. You should be too! Oh, like, start of round two, nine punches him with Hino Kagatsuchi. Mall fight roar, the most dumb anti air in the game. Jubei is trying to find a way through her fucking obstacle course to no avail. DP's off again! As you're like, you don't know what this fucking cross up teleport. This is going to be a perfect time. Oh, he tries to use the unblockable, but she teleports away. Oh, Jubei wastes his overdrive. He's going for a Hail Mary. And he gets perfected by nine. Oh, the humanity. We go on to round three. Jubei, I believe in you. Although nine nearly has her burst back. Wastes his overdrive all for naught. Jubei using his amazing mobility to try and navigate his way to his wife and beat the living shit out of her. Uh, this is all coming out terribly wrong, but they're doing this in one fucking thing, so who cares? Find some humor and entertainment in the bad commentary. The air fireball, she comes to glitch the reversal! Jubei, oh, that's a nice conversion! Another as 
Let's wait for the Oh, this is overdrive. Active flow. This is gonna hurt. Oh, a sprint. Four point. Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm going to cut for a second and change the battle theme to something a little more appropriate because reincarnation, there is not a better song to use in this case. Okay, and with that small oversight taken care of, we have reincarnation as the background music used for a Jubei vs. Nine theme in BB Tag. So what more fitting to play in this matchup as we go in with Jubei, the undercat. I would say a dog, but he's clearly a cat. He is 1-0 oh, up on the terror that is unlimited 9, the phantasm. If he wins this, I might shit bricks. Oh man, here we go. Game 2. What do you got, Jubei? Oh, round start 2C! Oh, but he goes over to the next normal! Uh-oh, freaking clock is ticking. I don't know the name of this spell, but Jubei needs to get a hit and fast on 9 before it explodes. Oh, he clips it with a tear fireball! Ooh, the diamond with the drive! Whips the counter, but isn't punished for it. Oh, 9 has Heliodor set up. That's gonna guard point one move, and 9 is definitely gonna use it. The counter! The 6 and 8 counter! Oh, knocks her out of the super! That's 50 meters down the drain! Oh my god, Jubei! 9 back goes Jubei in the corner. He is in trouble. Oh no, being in the corner gets eliminated. 9, Jubei drops her up with the teleport super, puts him back in the corner, gets out with the drive, Ezra Inferno! Knocks him full screen nearly. Nine going and looking him for more punishment, but Jubei is not having that shit. He bursts her off. Oh, they move her out of burst. The next hit will probably win. Jubei gets hit by the full screen laser. Oh no. Why are you pressing buttons? They are both out of a burst now. Is this the comeback that Nine has been looking for? We cannot let her do this. Jubei, please do not let her get momentum. You are the hero this tournament needs! Oh, the fucking 2 one core a drive! Oh, the cool up and double the throw, but she texts it! Oh, Crimson Raider! Oh, it's- Oh, 6P counter hit doesn't get much off of it, though. Dodge the Navy pressure. Oh, 9 cross up to the right turn over 3.5k! Nice conversion from Jubei into a knockdown, catches the roll, takes her to the corner, fixing slash, the blue combo she didn't tech, 2C reset, the more fixing slash, Jubei is on a roll, 9 is mashing out, Cardinal no Nova! The clock is set up, but Jubei is still pretty close, he can mash out, the unblockable new eliminate distortion for 5k, taking the next round! Jube is on match point, everyone. He is on match point to Unlimited 9. He eliminated round one from the fucking PM Grand TV. One upset. He sees him off of her. Nine is not going down without a fight. She is not letting her husband take the spotlight. Maybe pressure is so degenerate. Oh no. Fall by four. Heliodor is set up. That armor, the distortion, you may walk into the mirror. Oh no. He's losing all of his momentum. He is shook. He's starting to regain pressure for 3k. Nice conversion. Azurite Inferno. Wake up super. The classic. Nine takes. Game two. Ooh. Wow. This is intense. I dare say this might be the hypest fucking set of the entire tournament. We are 1-1 with the coupled match of the century. <sighs> Attempting to remain professional during this commentary, which is something I don't even try to do regardless, because I just cannot. But still, I'm trying to make it coherent. And enjoyable, but I am just awestruck at the moves Jubei is busting out to try and even the score. Like it's nines, just oppressive everything. 
Let us pray for Jubei. Oh, attempts to round her again! 2.4k for Struggle 9 has the clock set up again, but the trade negates it. Jubei taking her to the corner already, 11 seconds of the round, scooping up a 2c counter hit. Misses the meaty, gets himself out of the corner, luckily. Oh, horizontal navy pressure into a combo, but 9 drops it! Jubei ducks over the anti-air whip, big feeding cell though! Gets cornered against Nine, the Phantom. Oh, Cardinal Nova, her spell slots are filled. She whips the Kunzite Rock, though. Waste fucking Lapis Lazuli. Jubei tries to close in with the unblockable super, but it's just not enough distance, and Nine smacks him. Nine is up on match point. If she wins this, Jubei is out, and the Menace will live on to probably take down Mai in the next round. Oh, Jubei dodges Andrade. Skillfully with the drive. Keeps running into projectiles in normal flow. They are so aggressive. What can he do? He is already in red health. He is already in red health. Oh, dodges the navy pressure. Is this what he needs? Nine has active flow and a boost. And she pops overdrive. Oh, Jubei pops overdrive too. What is going to happen? Oh, the projectile clips her, but he doesn't get anything off it. Whips the TP. What's up with the drive against the hit? Oh, I was a little softer. The exceeding cell goes through Android! And with the active flow version, that's 4K. My voice is cracking. Andre Dyke clips Cube. He is dead. Nine signs the divorce papers, throws on his dead body, spits on him, and walks away to go fucking whore herself out to someone else, probably. Oh, the agony. Jubei, you were the hero we deserved. The one we needed, but nine was just too much for him. What a travesty. Okay. Let's, let's, let's calm down a bit after that set. Oh, man. Woo! Well, with that, unfortunately, Jubei... One of the characters I wanted to win the most is knocked out by his fucking skank-ass hoe of a wife, Konoe A. Mercury, aka Nine of the Ten Sages, as she ascends the bracket in all of her broken glory. I'm not gonna do a fucking half-ass sound effect. I'm gonna t I'm gonna leave a bit of si I'll wait. I'm gonna leave a bit of silence and edit something in there myself. Just one second. Damn it! Okay, that should be more than enough time. Anyways, with. <laughs> can't get over it. Oh, it was so heartbreaking. Oh, hopefully someone avenges him later on in the tournament. We have to move on now, though. Our next matchup is Embryo Storage S against Hibiki Kohaku. Let us get Game 3 underway. Queen of the Century versus Hibiki, the fucking speedy hybrid of like Yosuke and Seth or some shit, probably not, but that was just off the top of my head. Hibiki's got home theme advantage, but S has a giant sword and a fucking stupid reversal that starts combos, ends combos, extends combos, so <laughs> I'm rooting for you Hibiki, but I don't see your chances being very good. <laughs> Round one underway, DP. Nope, okay. Round start to Wayne. She's gonna DP any second now, though. It's ass. It's ass. She's gonna DP. Wait for it. Yep, there it is. DP one. Alright. Hibiki getting camped out by fucking Bruno or Spam as he pops over, grabs a random air DP mid-screen. Yeah, he's... Oh. Uh. Oh, exceeding cell the active flow? Nope, it wasn't on. That sucks. What the hell are these choices? Fucking. Why is he doing full screen 6 d into air DP? Get Biggie, you please! You're just wasting your burst! Oh, no. You surpassed my expectations. Oh, this is a tragedy. This is a crime, even. Even. Oh no, is this how it's gonna be? Is this how the set's gonna be? Oh, counters the way though! Oh, I don't think the counter triggered actually. I think it went over. I think he went over and then teleported. And then, oh, clips his clone though. 
Yeah, DP combo the last eight years. They beat the DP themselves. They get hit by Palamides into an extension? Oh, S is running the show. They beat his invisibility, but that's not really going to help him against, yeah, just one up DP. His dead body gets clipped by the crest and his old injury. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, folks. I'm sorry to me. I'm sorry to you. I'm sorry to Hibiki. This is probably going to be a clean 2-0. I have... I'm sorry. I have no hope for him if he's just making stupid decisions. <laughs> like, full screen air TV. What are you doing, man? I tweaked you one extra time and everything before I released you. You're letting down your fan base. I don't care how limited it is. I'm in it even. All round start GP. Fucking beat S at her own game, but she's got Brunor spam. Another air DP that we have some random GP that makes it again. All oh, the deep S's DP clash with the fucking Hibiki mashing. Hibiki mashing DP. This is just mashing of the DPs all day, every day. Random DP in the air. The long way it hits. Waste of 50 meter into invisibility because Hibiki is unaware that he's also fighting an AI right now. And the AI knows where he is. Oh no. Round start fatal. Gawain. 3k. DP on his wake up. Oh. I don't even want to fucking show these matches. They're so bad. Oh, he DPs the crest, clips him on recovery. This is gonna be a perfect. Oh, please don't give her meter to Astral. Thank God. Okay. Well, that was fucking. That was terrible. What a horrible experience for everyone. She got a fucking perfect on the last game. Oh. Cut, cut, the, cut the clip. Ne moving on. Moving on. <sighs> Good God. That has to be one of the worst <laughs> fighting game sets I have ever watched in my life. Oh, it can't get worse than that on the bright side. That, that's the low point of the tournament, and it was over quick with a 2-0. Hibiki's eliminated, but honestly, I don't think he deserved to win anyways. If he was playing like that. Uh, S moves on to round two. Uh, which, yeah, I guess that's... Round two is actually semi-files. Let's just move her on up there. There we go. I don't think it caught that snap noise. Maybe it did. But um, regardless if it did or didn't, this moves us on to, I think, the matchup everyone's really been waiting for in fucking game round one here. The Clash of Two Titans. The only two characters I think that can reasonably complete, compete with Nine's bullshit. We have Unlimited Susano against Unlimited Hades Izanami. Pretty much two of the strongest characters in Blaze Blue lore even going at each other. It all really comes down to. Well, I'll save the fucking commentary for when the match starts right about. Now, Okay, folks, the final set of round one of the CF Unlimited Grand Prix is underway. I have adjusted the audio a bit because I seemed a bit quiet in the commentary for a couple few matches. Last few matches. If I'm too loud in this one, I'll be sure to adjust it again. Don't worry about that. But anyways, the match we've been waiting for. Unlimited Susano against Unlimited Izanami. Oh, I have no idea how this is going to go. I feel like this match is going to come down to whether Susano can reliably deal with Shield of Dreams or not. Oh, taking advantage of that armor. Oh, into the dive for 3k! Izanami's not letting up either! Oh, he's cornered. Oh, the DP gets eaten by the armor! She's still one hit left in it! Oh, Izanami is punishing Susano hard. Oh, the man grab! She's back in full health! The armor! Susano bursts her off but gets hit by Snake of Supremacy! Oh no! The nearly a perfect! Izanami showing why she is, in fact, the god.
goddess of death. Susano is not the only deity up in this fucking bitch. He's an Ami off to a strong start against Susano. Oh, he got the armor down though. If Susano can just find the opening, he can jump major. Oh, the fucking bullshit hitbox, but he doesn't get a conversion. Another stake of supremacy. That's gonna be enough time for Izanami's armor to come back. Oh, the DP gets eaten by the armor again. Oh no. Oh, the super gets eaten by Shield of Dreams. It is care. Oh, I wouldn't say it's carrying her. She's freaking. Oh, she's still gonna hit though. The armor is down. Oh, he is he is taking this opportunity. He is running with it too. Oh no, she overdriving a full barrier. Oh, he almost had the opening he needed, but Izanami just did not let him breathe at all whatsoever, and she takes game one of the set. Oof. This is rough. Susanoo's a tough competitor, too. To see him eliminated in the first round is, uh... Quite a shocker indeed, but he did very uh, get very unlucky getting matched against Izanami here. Right. Game two. Let's see if Susano can pull a comeback. If Jubei can fucking win against Nine, I think he has a potential to win here. Even though I am definitely not rooting for Izanami because she is second best girl. Oh, the armor is down. He's got a health lead. Pretty considerable one. Oh, he tried to corner her, but she mashed out. Oh, no. Is this death? She's in danger. This move does 7k. Oh, James Day ran out, though. Oh, 8k! Susano with the massive punish, but Izanami's not giving up. She has her armor back and active flow. Susano needs to be very careful. Unless he pops overdrive. Oh, one hit in the armor. The exceed excel. The armor hits it, though. He just hits one hit. No, she hit overdrive to get her barrier back. Oh, the god press armor is the super! I can't keep up! Oh, Exceed Excel! Not the active flow version. Susano is really beefy with his health bar, too. He will live this. Oh, no! Stake of supremacy for a full screen punish! Susano, why do you 6B all the way over there? Susano needs to figure out something quick or he's getting eliminated. Izanami will move on. Oh, this is almost painful. I almost actually feel sorry for Susano for once. Oh, no. Oh, the armor is down, though. All he needs is two good combos and she is dead. Unlimited Susano gets that 5k combo. It's still going. The unblockable goes on shield dream. Oh, good god, that was utter destruction! <laughs> Izanami with the disrespectful raw astral after already basically being guaranteed the 2-0 victory over Susano, the one who thought he was almighty with his fucking armor and shit. Terumi just got utterly decimated. The Mad King is gone, the Goddess reigns supreme, and moves on to round two, which was not, in fact, not semi-finals. Semi-finals comes after this, technically. I'm stupid. I don't know what I was talking about there. And we will move her up with some kind of entertaining soundbite right now, I guess. Not sure what I'm going to put there. 
In any case, that concludes the round one matches. We have my 9S and Izanami remaining in the running for strongest CF Unlimited. But before we get on to round two, first a message from our sponsors. Every day, at least five news are oppressed and beaten in the corner. Sad, and with no burst or rock to save them. Every day, they cry out for our help to rescue them from the terrible fate of being beyond bottom tier with no defensive options. Today is the day to make a difference. Introducing the hashtag Save the New campaign. For just one time donation of $5, your generous contribution will go towards helping these poor innocent news recover from such traumatic experiences. Paying for things such as therapy, medical expenses, and a bribe to Mori so he'll remove that stupid ass dead zone from Calamity Sword. Help us help them and hashtag save the new today. And we're back, folks, for round two of the CF Unlimited Grand Prix. We got some pretty average and two very strong competitors here in round two. I'm fairly certain the results are might be a little predictable at this point. But who knows? Maybe there will be a massive upset. But honestly, if you ask me, it seems very unlikely that my and S are going to survive their next matches. But we can only wait and see. Without further delay, we will move on to the first set of round two. My Natsume versus Nine, the Phantasm. First match of game two is now underway. Ugh. Oh, that sucks. But in any case, I don't know who to root for. I mean, we're trying to avoid some commentator bias, but like honestly, I don't really like any of these characters. I have to say my though, because nine, anyone, just let anyone win this tournament except for nine. I just jinxed myself in that show. I'm fucking turning But irrelevant. We gotta focus on the here and now, and now it's time for round one. Nine getting the first hit with a fast fucking long range normal. Mai getting put in the goddamn blender, getting hit by a random ass crush trigger, trying to unga bunga her way with those staff normals into Nine, but Nine is just not happening it because her normals have even longer range, and apparently so does her exceeding cell because they just traded, and now Nine just got a perfect. What kind of cool person at Art System Works decided to design a boss character? Not only not only to make a character this cheap, but to make the character that is this cheap nine. What kind of cruel being could have done this? My actually getting some momentum now. Ooh, nice three. Oh, the reset with the bull bash! Taking 3k, putting nine in the corner. Four of Blizzard Blossom trying to maintain that pressure. Ooh, that bull bash is fucking. <laughs> Teleport behind as direct inferno, the unlimited nine special. That is a shit ton of damage, but I think her self block is stock is that increase the damage that distortion. Ooh, the three C auto correct. My might take the round. She has overdrive and active flow. That is massive get Ooh! Dash up silver the hurricane right underneath her. That was a ballsy play from Mai, but it worked out and won her a round. Can she avenge the elimination of Jubei in round one at the hands of this fucking disgusting wife? We will see. Waking up right into the mirror, Malmite Roar, air approaches are basically fucking useful for this nine, so that move exists, and how quick it is. What is this combo? That is 3k to Cardinal Nova! She has an Androdite in her spell stock, that spell is disgusting, she might whip it out any second. Whips are maybe precious, so not in my just time to move back in. First nine off. Dodge is the Azure Light Inferno! Gets clipped by the bull bat. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Ugh, oh, I can't talk, but it seems that, uh, yeah, nine matches 2A. And don't mind. It is not over yet, though, folks. There is still at least one more game. My may redeem herself. Wait and see though. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Sorry, my fans. Sorry, Susano fans. I can't get over the fact that happened. I am, I am shook after that. That was the highlight of the book. <laughs> if Izanami is the queen of BM and meet, and he, she meets with Nine in the semifinals before Ragna, I hope that she oh, fucking just mops the floor with Nine. You can't even see how blessed you are. All right, my show us what you can do. Press buttons like you know how to do because that's all you can do. Oh, hits through the underdite. That is huge. Crush trigger reset for shit old damage. Nine pops overdrive. Overdrive active while as you're right in front of for 4.5k. Mai is making great use of those standalone spear shots to make openings so she can approach with her fucking rocket stab normals specials. They're kind of, they're kind of both, actually. Wall of Light gets shut down by random shots. Teleport behind Cardinal Nova for the, for the extension? Oh, gets hit by full screen. He made Yuri 9 had it, but she choked. Mai lives with a sliver of health and gets the round. They're both out there burst. Oh, the full bash is too slow. The round star option is clipped by 3C. Rock whiffs. The AI seems to be terrible at hitting right? Those spear shots are doing my a lot of favors until 9 wakes up with the Azurite Inferno yet again. Oh no! Fatal counter navy pressure! The clock is on her! It's about to detonate! That is un- Oh she- Oh she got tripped out. She dropped barrier. How unamusing. Either she dropped barrier and got chipped out or she dropped barrier and died because I believe that is in fact unblockable without barrier. That is unfortunate. We're on to round three. Nine is on match point. If she wins this, Mai is knocked out and Nine will advance to semi-finals. Mai, please. Be the unlikely hero. Teleport behind you. What is this? Nine is a fucking Marvel character. This isn't fair. Teleport to the ground. As you right with full spell stocks. That's gonna kill. Oh, nearly 5k. Fucking steps on her afterwards. Insult to injury. It was actually a lot closer than I thought it would be, but Mai gets cleaned out by a 2-0 and 9 advances to semifinals. How unfortunate indeed as she fought valiantly like Jubei. She was unable to even take a single game off of Unlimited 9. Mai is eliminated from the tournament. Nine has claimed yet another victim and ascends to semi-finals. Can anyone please stop this villain? Oh no. Uh, Here's a soundbite for moving her up. I don't know, something entertaining. No! Ugh, let's, let's just wash that bad taste out of our mouths as we move on to the second and final match of round two. We have a very interesting matchup indeed. We have S, the DP queen, the lamest AI player I've ever fucking seen, chucking out more reversals than a button reading SNK boss versus Izanami, the goddess of death and queen of BM, smiting the god Susano in round one with the disrespectful raw astral. I cannot wait to see what unfolds in this fucked up match of the century. Final match of round two is underway. This will decide who fights nine in the semifinals. Uh, the real question here is what will prevail? DP spam or passive armor? I'm actually kind of leaning towards the armor for being real, but who knows? Let's see if S is fraudulent or not. This will be the ultimate test to decide, I believe. Izanami. Ooh, that is a nice conversion. Round start. Izanami starting off very strong. Is this going to hit 3k? Nearly. DP clashes and takes the armor off. Jesus. 
and here we go. S doing S things. Another DP to call out the teleport. DP again. That is two DPs in the same combo. 3K. Izanami pops overdrive with the Palamides multi-hit wave. Decimate Shield of Dreams. S is actually putting up a fight. Izanami is a bad spot. Her armor is gone. Oh, Galahad. Oh no, please don't let Izanami lose to S. Alright, round two. S took a round. Looks like she has the tools she needs. Izanami lands a command grab. Keeping the pressure. I believe that's Orchid, I believe. Yeah, Droplet's, Droplet is the shooty one. DP combo for 3k. S with her large ass sword. Random DP from both screen facing the wrong way in the air. It's quit by Stake of Supremacy for 3k. Izanami setting up Droplet there. Oh, S tried to anti-air with her new distortion, but it gets armored and dodged at kind of at the same time. Makes no sense, but it seems to be what happened. Oh, Bulwark's through the Galahad this time. Izanami looking to take this round. Oh, S is so overdrive to dodge Stake of Supremacy. The multi-hit DP shreds the armor, but Izanami gets a hit in and takes the round. This is embarrassing. I think S is actually picking up a better fight than Susano. But it is not over yet. This is still game one. Round three. Ooh, the clash! S gets the grab into the crush trigger. That's a strange option. Ooh, nice con nice conversion! Oh, random speed if I can go through the stake of supremacy. Even on these out of armor, but she is in overdrive, trying to maintain pressure with her projectiles. S just DPs out because that's what S does. She only has one move. Throwing the meteor actually tracks in full screen. Oh, they're both on low health. He's not me. I can't. The time stop grab. Oh, this will be enough to kill. The fucking style teleport to side swap before the ending hit. <laughs> oh, Izanami's my favorite competitor. I don't care what anyone says. She takes game one over S. Moving on to game two. S is not totally out of this though, she did get around. I believe with enough careful planning and abuse of her bullshit reversal that she might be able to win this. Personally, I hope she doesn't, but we'll see. Hit him with the astral again, Izanami, please. Please hit him with the astral. <laughs> In an alternate universe, it was Hibiki that gets a random astral on S, and then it would have been cool, but like, I guess he's, he's an Ami's basically just as good. Oh, speaking of, I forgot to come, I forgot to keep commentating the fucking match, dude. He's, he's already below half health, and S is on a perfect! She has active blows! Armor came back. The air throw! Conversion, that is gonna be 3k, blue combo, Izanami did tech. Oh! S did the perfect! Not yet. It is not your time. It's... Oh, the humanity! She is not going down without a fight! If Izanami wants to reign, she has to work for it. This guardian of the Azure is not having it, but Izanami goes for a purple throw! <laughs> Yep, tech though. Yep. Three hour long DP combo from S. Raw Gawain gets called out by Ghost Peak Strike. The random jump air DP. Every option S does is just DP. But it's impossible to predict because she just button reads you. If you press nothing, she just does random jank so you're gonna get hit by it. Oh, she almost got that in. That would have been so much damage. He's not even danger today, but drop like knocked her out of it. He's an army pickup. Doesn't finish it though. Multi hit Palami shreds the armor for 5k! Oh, it rips the throw! He's an army doesn't finish it. He's a Everything is 
games as the Azure Wilson. Yes, takes game two with a 2 0. Oh no, don't let finals be S versus 9. Thanks, don't Mr. let finals be S and semi finals be S versus 9. Oh no. Things are looking somewhat grim. This slip up might be all that S needs to take it down the take down the goddess of death. We're at the start of game three. Round start 60, getting the pressure. Counters the DP. It lands a counter hit afterwards. Nice punish from Izanami. Ooh! Float into the low. The armor is gone again. Izanami not having that shit. Hits S with another stake of supremacy, full screen punish. Droplet that S backdash is into. Izanami has the neutral game advantage. S is in overdrive. Tries to exceed Excel, gets bulwarked out of it. Izanami's got her own DP with Shield of Dreams up, technically. She can play that game. Start of round two, Izanami's on match point. Neutral, looking like a shit show right now. Izanami gets the first hit, lit up. Whips the dive, though, unfortunately. Ooh, the bold counter gets the, lands the punish. 2k, not terrible at all. Izanami is in danger of getting her armor beaten out by the multi-hit DP. S is racking up the damage with this combo. Oh, that connected! What? It's still going! Oh, the throw tech! It's taking supremacy to block, though! Oh, Palamity shreds the armor. Izanami lost her advantage. Oh, is this, this is Actiflow? Oh, that is fucking 5k! Galahad in danger! That's nearly 4k for Izanami! Raw oh, Galwain! I must not lose. You're on fucking match play. Whoever wins this advances to the semifinals to fight nine. I don't think S can do it. I have to believe in Izanami. Izanami, you have to save us from nine. Don't go out like this. You beat Susano. Don't lose to DP spam. Oh, the fucking reset. Sort of. It was, it was like an American reset. What was that crush trigger option? Ooh, oh, she did throw the purple counter and snake of supremacy. It was all a bait. Oh, but she lives with a droplet of health. Oops, droplet ironically gets killed by the move of the same name. Izanami takes it over S in a stunning exchange overall. She continues to rule. The heresy of S will not be tolerated as Izanami advances to the semi-finals. <laughs> oh, I am sure you are tired of these like minute-long intermissions between matches. That's okay, we are nearly done. Izanami, Goddess of Death, has eliminated S from the tournament. We will not have to worry about possibly the lamest finals match or match ever since Hibiki versus S in round one. Izanami advances to the semifinals to face off against Unlimited 9, the Phantasm. We will move Izanami up the bracket with entertaining sound bites. Neil, before me. Sometime around here, I'm not sure. The timings are mostly okay, but we'll, 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 we'll just roll with it. That out of the way! Here we are at the semifinals of the CF Unlimited Grand Prix. Who will win this match to face off against Ragna for the title of Strongest Unlimited? Only time will tell. Let's jump right into this hype ass semifinals match. Time, motherfuckers, for the ultimate showdown. We have Act 1 boss versus Act 3 boss. All of my mods, I just realized, are knocked out of the tournament. We are left with nothing but the Holy Trinity of the OGCF Unlimited, but only one can come out on top. 
and we have two massive titans here duking it out for semifinals. I have no idea which way this is going to go because they're both absurdly overpowered. But we are in for a treat, I'm sure. Izanami banished this thought from whence she came. Armors through the round start. 3C already racking up that damage. Oh, but nine mashes through the armor. Izanami's pressure was not tight enough. Andre Knight gets smacked out of the air. Nine teleports away. Izanami chases her down, which takes him supremacy, but it gets blocked. Nine trying to camp out. Izanami. Izanami's not having that. The DP gets armored through. Nice backdash by Izanami. The whiff punish of the 5B with Stake of Supremacy. That is some damage. Droplet covering the backdash into Navy Pressure. Izanami pops overdrive. She wants to finish this fast, and she does. Izanami taking round one with a moderately commanding lead. Nine's bag of bullshit gimmicks may not be enough to bypass the Shield of Dreams. Which may grow to improve Nine's broken dreams at this rate. Oh, knocked out of a vol of light though. I say that, but Nine has regained some momentum. Already taking Izanami down to below half health. Azurite Inferno gets armored through. Oh, the throw counter! Oh, ends the time stop early for the dive for some extra health regeneration there. That dive move does act like her normal command grab, so she does get health and barrier when that hits. Oh, Izanami was in active mode with her shield. Oh, the cross off to dodge the Navy pressure into the wall bound. 3K tries to catch the roll with a hard call out, but it misses. Stake of Supremacy counter hit for yet another full screen punish, but Izanami special dumpsters nine, and Izanami takes game one. All right, on to round or game two of the semifinals. Izanami pulling a real fast one over on nine. Nine Noggin putting up as much of a fight as S. I'm surprised that S was the one that put up the most resistance against Izanami. Indeed, that was a major upset, in my opinion. All right, starting round one off. 5B gets armored by Shield of Dreams. The armor is gone now, though. Nine dash up into DP. Izanami actually running into the mirror. Into the mirror again. Oh, the fucking stupid teleport invulnerability. The laser shreds the armor and gets some damage tacked on. Nine dash is stupid. I'm speechless. I I couldn't believe that was 5k. I, I couldn't compensate for that period. Izanami gets thrashed by vines into crazy bullshit. Looks like you might be more fun than I thought. Nine filling the screen with her fucking encyclopedia of pressure tools, zoning tools, every tool known to man. Izanami beginning a impenetrable offense, keeping nine in the corner with the Stake of Supremacy, never mind, it's side swap, never mind. Still maintaining her advantage. Androdite shreds the armor, tax on 5k! And leaves Izanami in danger without a burst. Nine is up one round. Oh, this might even out quickly though. Yikes, gets clipped by the projectiles in the shin. Izanami is on match point. If she wins this, Nine is out of the tournament, much to everyone's pleasure and joy and moves on to face Ragna in the finals for the champion shit match. Both playing the neutral game pretty well here. Nine trying to zone out Izanami. Izanami's not having it. She does have one of the best mobility in the game. One of the best mobility. Great commentary says, doesn't matter. The call out with a stake of supremacy, but Nine was already blocked and it didn't work. Izanami setting up for a perfect... 
nine, popping the raw overdrive, trying to even things out. Gets hit by Snake of Supremacy. This is active blow. This is going to kill for the win. Izanami with the 2-0 on nine advances to the final nine. Get the fuck out of here. You're eliminated. You're garbage. You're banned. Get off the stage. Izanami has burned the evil witch at the stake. Jubei may rest in peace. Uh, for he has been avenged, the hero that he was. Even though Izanami didn't probably really intend to do that, it was a side effect, no less, and we are forever grateful for her efforts to restore the natural order. With that out of the way, she advances to the FINALS! Kneel before me! With one match remaining in the CF Unlimited Grand Prix, unfortunately the tournament is coming to a close, but we will have our answer soon enough, as Izanami must now go up against her flesh and blood brother, maybe, kind of, I don't know, it's not really spoiler, it probably spoilers, no, never mind. Point is, we got Izanami slash Saya against Unlimited Ragna the Blood Edge, who will come out on top? The power of death or the power of a motherfucking Azure. This will be a best of five set for the sake of being grand finals. Let's jump right into it. I will keep you waiting no longer. Ragna, the Blood Edge, the champion OG Unlimited awaits his challenger at Judge on Judgment Day. Bloodline is playing in the background. We are in the perfect setting for a hype grand finals best of five between Izanami, Saya, and Ragna, the Blood Edge for the strongest CF Unlimited and champion of the CF Unlimited Grand Prix. Our hour-long journey is about to begin to a close. Let us see how it ends. Round start 2D from Rodney. He's gonna be punished with a combo into the die for 3k. The champ is not given up though. He is a man of infinite determination and inferno dividers. And he has the damage like Susano to even to easily close any gap. Should he get a good hit in? Nami's barrier coming back, and then Stake of Supremacy gives a long time for her armor to regenerate. Another dive combo for more barrier and help. Oh, he's wrong to try to pop the Blood Cane combo, but it was at a bad time. Izanami takes for round one. How will Rogno respond to this? Izanami may be second best girl, but I got it. Ooh, the fatal counter blood scythe does not get anything off of it, though. Ooh, counter hit Balial Edge. Ragna is getting all these good hands. He's not converting off of them, though. I'm personally rooting for my man, Ragna. Izanami might be second best girl, but Ragna is... Ooh! Oh! <laughs> the double super almost worked. Oh, the armor is down. If Ragna can get one good hit, bursts her off. He is looking hopeful, but he's just full screen 6B. Why would you full screen 6B against Izanami with 50 meter? What a tragedy. A horrid loss for the champ as he loses game one. Izanami is what up 1-0. It is not over yet. This is a best of five. The first to three wins will be crowned the champion. Ragna is far from out of this. As we head straight into game two of the set. Starting off round one, the round start 5C connects with Izanami, the armor just keeps it, she goes to a dive to get back half the barrier she lost. Ragna whipping the crush trigger, the Inferno Divider breaking the armor, 
Doing a double DP combo, apparently not with the D Inferno Fighter. Stake of Supremacy pops overdrive. Izanami gets her remaining barrier back instantly because of that. Rognet is down below 50 health. Izanami still has overdrive. It's just a blue combo. Rognet is struggling to just get another good hit in. Bursts her off. He is fearless and he gets caught by the air throw. A valiant effort. But Sister Saya is not going down so easily. Similar start to last round, the 5C trading with Shield of Dreams to no avail. Rogna is cornered against Izanami, taking a free kick, nearly a 4K fun into the reset! Izanami's on a perfect win, Rogna's on red hell! Oh, hope she's lost! He had no burst to save him! He could not find an opening. He's a Nami is up 2-0. Ragna is getting steamrolled by his younger sister. <laughs> she's so mean to him, too. Imagine if your fucking sister got possessed by some fucking crazy death goddess that wants to end all life on Earth, and she's like, Oh, brother. That's messed up. Come on, Ragna, I believe. You just gotta drop the Blood Cane combo. Inferno Divider making sure he doesn't get punished surprisingly for that. Taking a hit off of the armor, but I think she still has at least enough for two more. Yep. Oh, into the combo. That is 3k easily off of Unlimited Rogna's ridiculous damage into Darkness Fang. That is going to be 5k easily. Oh, catches the roll with the 5c. Rogna into Inferno Eradicator. 6k. He's always on a sliver of health. Rogna with a massive life lead. The counter doesn't trigger surprisingly. Rogna's free to move. He just needs to get one good hit. The DP chip damage. Rogna finally gets a round on Saya. Is this the comeback he's been looking for? The classic story. He's down 2 0. Will he come back for the reverse 3 0? He's activating Blood Cane. Oh, they're both in overdrive. With that overdrive cancel, Izanami's gonna run out first. Exceeding Cell gets eaten by the armor. Ragna breaks, though catches the roll of the 5C into the dash cancel. Misses the Garden Scissors. Let's get the computer down the train. Inferno Eradicator, anti-air and dangerous. It has 5k and quite a bit of health back to Ragna, though. The throw! He doesn't convert off of it, though. Relatively even round here, caught by Droplet. Another stake of Supremacy that's gonna scale pretty heavily, though. He is not out. It's one good hit to break the armor. Bursting really. Oh! Oh! Tagged out of the air. Ragna is out his burst. Izanami has full overdrive and is on match point. If she wins this, she will be crowned the champion of the CF Unlimited Grand Prix. Will Ragna be able to keep his title? Oh, 2C into Inferno Divider breaks the armor, misses the not over yet pickup, unfortunately. Oh, he is steamrolling this round though. Oh, he didn't cancel on a card and scissors like he usually does. Oh, then 5k! Oh, he takes a hit off the armor, that's about it. The armor's broken though. He's an army overdrive, but it won't matter because Ragna's got meter. He's continuing the combo! Card and scissors for the kill! For He has taken a match off of Saya. Oh, come on. The stats are now two to one. I can't, that was a voice crack. I hope the fucking mic didn't pick that up. That was embarrassing. I am excited right now, though. Ragna is not going to go down without a fight. That is not the kind of man he is. He will fight to the end. So we don't play this time. With all of his might. Action. 
relatively passive start to neutral here. Saya quickly gaining advantage. Rongo with the DP gets the excel though. Is it crispy 2k and active flow for Kizanami to be getting her burst back right. The dive! Oh, Rondo's cornered. Inferno Eradicator's gonna get armored. Rondo with the burst. Oh, a very hopeful burst, but it was for not. He's not even really get the perfect. She's once again a match point. Can Rogna pull another reverse 2-0 win? Or will he fall under her heel? The dive whips. Rogna trying to get in. He finds an opening. Breaks the armor. He is set up for big damage. Oh, the Cordis is a reset for 5Ks! of supremacy this should last long enough i believe that izanami could basically get her armor back and it does sets up droplet rogno is using his advanced speed to navigate out of it oh the devoured by dark is unblockable for 8.5k <laughs> oh this is a fucking battle for the ages a grand final worthy of the title we are on round three. Ragna is flailing about, trying to tag the armor. He succeeds. Izanami didn't get a good pickup off that. Neutral is basically reset as Ragna tries to go in for an opening. Inferno Eradicator for massive damage in Danger State. The armor will be coming back soon, though. He gets another combo for 4k! 5k! Oh, she popped over seven active blow! Oh, the purple throw, Rodna tags! Oh, another grab! It was a throw counter, though, in front of Radicator. The armor, he sees one good hit to kill her! And he gets it into the reset! The set is evened up two to two. Rodna, not intent on giving up his championship title. We are on to the final match of the tournament. Oh, come on. <laughs> I wait in anticipation. I can't help but root for both characters. They are both my favorites. But Ragna's rocking the classic underdog story. Perhaps he will whip out a final Blood King combo, even though his overdrive does nothing in the limited form. He will do it for the sake of the hype. The 2C counter hit trade happens once again. Ragna not seeming to know quite what to do round start against the Shield of Dreams. Izanami with the throw counter. Her armor is gone, though. Anti-air with the 6A. Oh, catches the back dash of Carnage Scissors for nearly 5k. <laughs> with the full screen 6b again. Punished with Snake Supremacy and Active Flow for 3.6k. He's not me popping over. They both popped overdrive. Oh, he whips the Exceed Excel and gets hit by Izanami. This is Active Flow is gonna kill. A very painful demise indeed. Izanami is on match point. This could be the end, folks. Oh, not a good start for Rodden. Armor's broken. Gets a Belial Edge counter hit. Doesn't convert off of it. Gets triggers the counter. He's an army backdashes to safety. Quickly going back into punish for punishment. Oh, Rodden cornered scissors through Orchid. Another full screen. The key punished by Snake of Supremacy. Rodden, you have to learn. My man, you have to learn! Oh, this combo. Oh, he gets a hit, though! Dead Spike Rekka's in the corner, scissors! That is big damage! Nearly 7k with a decent amount of life skill! Catches with 5d! The, the set is tied up one round and two games behind both of them. Whoever wins this round is the champion of the tournament! That's a throw, the whiff, the Inferno Eradicator! Oh, the Meteor comes down, 
from above with a counter hit. Stake of Supremacy catches the back dash. Oh, Brock does in a real underdog story. No, the throw counter, he is dead. Brogna is taken down by Izanami. He fought valiantly with utmost courage and bravery. It was not enough, however. Izanami takes game five. She wins with a 3-2 victory. It was a very close and hype battle for the ages, fitting for the send-off of this tournament. Unlimited Hades, Izanami is the champion unlimited of the CF Unlimited Grand Prix. The crown for strongest unlimited goes to her and her alone. <laughs> Basically how I envisioned it several years ago when I first picked up Continuum Shift Extend. To those of you who stuck through the whole video in one sitting, kudos to you. I thank you for all the patron... Uh, the, 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 your, your, uh, fuck. Damn it. I'm losing my words here, and I do this at the end of every long video, essentially. It's going to get long-winded, boring, and repetitive. It's not going to sound genuine anymore, but it really is. I hope you enjoyed this video. I put a little extra effort into to flare up a little. This being the true send-off to the Unlimiteds for the most part. Maybe they'll show up later. Maybe they won't. We have to get down into the nitty-gritty of Seth's mod content now. But, uh, fuck, damn it. I'm terrible with outros. You know, you're aware of this already, though. In any case, that wraps up the tournament. Izanami is your champion. And with that, I will see you in the next upload. Wait a second. A new opponent has interrupted the tournament. The end has come.